Romeo and Juliet, I think that's the first thing that people go, oh, it's a love story. We think we know these characters. The Romeo and Juliet of star-crossed lovers. I'm not even quite sure how people think that it's so light-hearted and lovely. It can't just be about being in love. It's a play about human connection, and that's what we need right now. There is a whole world that in some ways is really familiar, in some ways is not familiar, which I think is worth finding out about. Things that are happening in our world, things we're having to deal with. The amazing thing about Shakespeare is that he's a playwright who definitely belongs to today. We actually understand what it's like to be isolated from our friends and to experience a pandemic. That's exactly what's happening in Romeo and Juliet. Discovering the anxiety all of the characters have unlocks the reasons for their behaviour. There's always something left unsaid and Romeo and Juliet really tries to explore that. Young people are sadder than they've ever been and it feels like the world around them is becoming less hopeful. The speed of it, the immediacy of the decisions that they make. Two young people who in the space of four days meet and then kill themselves. That's not romantic, that's some serious mental health issues. I think it's the fact that they are able to find love in this treacherous world that they live in. I feel like the young people of today will see it on the stage and go, oh, I actually understand how that feels.